for like Nigeria, for example, which is of course one of the things that pushed me to get get this essay done, right? Um, when you take that set of laws in a country already that has anti-sodomy law, and you know the word sodomy is the most Victorian word ever. Like the, if you want to talk about a Victorian word, when you hear an African say sodomite, <laughs> the world is supposed to shake. You understand? Of course, me, I'm just saying, what's the word for sodomite in our 42 languages? Because that word sodomite came because the most Eno people in the world, Victorians, right, came and said, these Africans have many queer behaviors. They just marry 12 people. And then tomorrow they're going to worship Sijuid. Then they're just dancing aimlessly. And I'm sure in the middle of the night, they are performing sodomy. The only countries in the world where there are anti-sodomy laws are countries that were colonized by the Victorians. The Chinese never had anti-sodomy laws. Thailand never had. Only Nigeria, Kenya, India. Same place where people inherited that kind of thing. So now when you think about that idea, you're like, kai, kai, kai. and then now somehow, mysteriously, it is never African. It was never African. And I'm like, no, actually, they put that law because they were suspecting you were. Whether you are or not, there's no reason that they put it, right? Except that they were like, how to? We've got to start being realistic about the story we want to tell. Me, I'm not interested in a gay takeover of Africa. Even if we are, if we are 0.5%, that's how many? Is that 5 million? Out of a billion, yeah? Me, I just want someone to come and say, I'm coming into your bedroom to come and peep. And what's happening at the... So now what's going happening in Nigeria is everyone who has an agenda against somebody else. Someone has been promoted in your office. Now, according to the law, you go at he, he was seen talking and holding hands with someone for eight minutes. That now, according to the law in Nigeria, is evidence to say that you can be in prison. If you have a friend who once said to you, I had one homosexual act, that is consorting. And in the law in Nigeria, right? Now me, I'm just like, even if you were to go like 200 years in that village, you were told you sit under the tree and then you discuss uh, Baraza, Nini, Nini. There was no such thing. There was never anything that was coming to say, tutaingia kwa nyubai huyo mutu, and lafu tutafungua roho yake, tutaitoa, and then we want to see the bleeding heart here. Have you seen photographs of burning bodies? Or people being thrust out, and then people gleefully posting them on Facebook? that two naked people are found in a room and then at tea, you must take them to the public square and you beat the shit out of them naked, right? And then you are like, you see, we are in the process of eradicating homosexuality. How many people's lives get destroyed? Hmm? How many middle class people take their children into mental hospitals? It's now 40 years since even doctors stopped doing that thing where they used to call electroshock therapy, where they used to take homosexual and fry your brain. So you become a zombie, so you can be a dutiful son. I'm not interested in gay marriage. If that thing comes three generations from now, that is cool. So they say, people calling about a gay marriage act, I don't know what, 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 what. Who was asking? Already, there are four states in Nigeria where you're going to be stoned to death by law. If you're even suspected of. Right? That's Sharia law. That's like shit from a thousand years ago of hate. And now us, we are like, hey, we are modern. We are modern people who are implementing policies. And now that's now, it's now 2013 in Africa Rising we are implementing. When you look at the map of gay rights around the world, why is ours bright red? And then the ones are soft, gentle, blue, everywhere else. Because guys learned after many people died, after my Holocaust happened, right? Guys are like, you know what? It's not worth it, right? To find Mkosano, about what one sub grown up is doing in their bedroom. So just choose not to like it. Because what people do, what those things happen, it's not complicated. Is that thing they used to call witch burning, witch hunt? which is supposed to be associated with the days people agreed to be stupid and some king went and said, witch! And then guys went, ah! <laughs> and then they lit fires. That's what it is. We saw it within 24 hours, guys were being rounded up across Nigeria, right? For vague suspicions. Guys were being whipped. 
So now now you appear like if you and your wife are doing it the wrong way inside Nini and then she goes to report to you. Is that sondomy? Give me the book about demonology and how demonology is important for building roads, schools and imagination. And then give me the one about gazing. Give me. See, we into a taught in school. You show where, which textbook, and then how do you implement, and then you have an argument, and you're like, well, this fact here. Give me data that says that the people who speak 30,000 languages in this continent, you have communities who are 25 million who belong to one kingdom. 25 million. And your guys who are 105. So, what's an African? society at least do the data so then when you're going to say you're implementing a law you've hired some two lawyers they've gone they've they've measured they've been mad they've measured and then they're like hey homosexuality is such a problem yeah. it is spreading virally so just so you just give me data just one piece of data 